in the union, I am I represent all the students on Pendant Road campus. They are about 8,500 students that study here and their courses range from the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences as well as the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Computing. So we have a very diverse range of students studying different things in different spaces, about five different locations here. And during my time in office, I have been there to represent all of those students. I have attended the faculty forum meetings and I've also been attentive to the students' needs. I've been available in office for when students have come to talk to me or via email and I've done my best to try and help all students with any issues that they have. So my secondary remit, the thing that I lead on, it's not really a secondary role but it's more um, the driving force of my, my job, is actually called union development. When I started the role back at the beginning of July, it was initially called Union Affairs and since then we've changed the name of the role so students could understand it a little better. So that means that as the Union Development Officer, I look at us as an organisation. I look at our union as a separate charity, as a business, as something that has to live beyond us for sabbatical officers. So the union is a charity that provides a service for its members, which are the students, and then that means that I have to sit in on all these various meetings internally um, that look at what we do and how we do it and whether we're doing, doing it well or not. That generally means strategic, so I sit in strategic planning meetings, I look at our finances and I look at our HR services, how we as an organisation employ staff, look after our staff and manage our staff. Um, we've also raised uh, our student staff payment to the London Living Wage, which um, means that we will have uh, our student staff will be better funded in the roles that they provide. And we've also created more student staff positions since I've been in the union development role. So we um, hired many students for our Freshers Fair and various different roles, and we've also employed a lot of student assistants to help us in the office, which we believe is really important because when you come to university you can give people CV workshops, you can give them job interview training, but if you actually give them work experience, especially in the office environment, that is a real transferable skill that they can take. So as the Union Development Officer, another thing that I've been really involved in is our finances. So. Two years ago, our whole union structure changed. We do not facilitate bars, we do not do the shops. We are more focused on um, the services that we provide, such as sports, societies, volunteering, and advice services. And therefore, where our finances, where the focus of our finances has been has changed. Um, we also get, our, our finances are controlled by the university through a block grant. And we as a union, get given between 30 and 40 percent less per student in our block grant compared to other unions in the sector. So there was a stage where we weren't doing very well with our finances, we were not managing them well and therefore we changed our union and we changed our structure and within two years we've been able to stop ourselves from making a loss in, and brought ourselves into a safe position of actually making a little teeny tiny profit which goes right back into the students. So now that we're at this stage, I have been sitting in meetings with the Deputy Head of Finance for the University, the people who are in control of how much money we get given as a charity for you as students, and I've literally had to sit there in a room where I have to argue for the value of what the union does for students. I have to sit there and say that we are taking a loaf of bread and we are feeding thousands with it, and I have to try and diplomatically, strategically, um, I have to really try and argue for the union getting more funding for the students so that more, we can have more societies, we can't have any more societies because we just don't have the funding, um, that we can't have any more societies than we currently have. And, you know, same with sports, same with volunteering. So I promise you that I have been there in that room, sitting there with the people at the top who have to hold on to those purse strings, but I've had to hold my wits and be able to argue for you as students as to why you need your money to go from your fees to the uni back to you as a student. So the way that I have tried to contribute 
to the communication of the union is that I've worked a lot on our social media. I have inputted, put status updates, shared articles, you know, spread the student view online. I have also done many open day talks, especially on the weekends. So as officers, we do commit more than the general working hours. We've also spoken at Head Start which is a widening participation um, program that happens during the summer and through Head Start spoken to students about what we do as a union, why we do it and how we can support students in the future. I've also done a series of lecture shout outs. Myself and a colleague, Stephanie, have mapped out the university and in a matter of two months we've spoken to 25% of the student population through doing lecture shout outs. This means that we turn up at a lecture and we spend a few minutes at the beginning of it talking to students about who we are, what we do and how they can tell us what to do, which is specifically the AGM. I've also tried to make the message really digestible because often I find that people can become very corporate with what they're trying to, the message that they're trying to get across to students. So I've tried to make the message that we've been delivering very digestible, approachable and relevant to the student. What we do as a union, we shouldn't be going and talking to students and saying why we need them. We should be going to students and saying to them what we can do for them. Because that's what we're here for. We're literally here and we exist for the students. And they need to feel empowered in the direction that we go. And other little meetings that I've been sitting in across the university, I've been trying to negotiate my Kingston, OSIS, study space, all of these online platforms where students have to access their work. I've been there trying to explain that students need one point of call in order to access all the information that they need and it doesn't need to be complicated. So I've been standing there in your court arguing for an easier, more transparent, um, online communication device. I've also been working extremely hard on an inter-campus community. This was something that came up and this is something that I um, campaigned on in my manifesto. So I believe that we are all Kingston students, we all pay to come to the same university and we should all feel like we are a community and we are a family. And the way that I've been working on that is one, I've been, going, I've been to all four campuses constantly and I've spoken to students on those campuses and identified with them and related to them. I've been trying to encourage students to hold events and activities at different campuses because not everything should just happen at Penn and Road. I've also brought um, a lot of uh, activity from different campuses to Pennon Road. One such uh, activity is the fashion students every year create these monsters, these structures, and I brought some of their structures here as an exhibition. In my role, I have stuck to my values, and this means that I have always stood up against racism, I have stood up against xenophobia, I have stood up against Islamophobia, and I have stood up against disability discrimination. And that is something that I will continue to champion and I will stand there and I will help let those students be represented equally. So in conclusion, this has been an absolutely phenomenal experience. It's been wonderful being able to impact the lives of students who are currently at Kingston and students who will be coming to Kingston. I'm only as strong as the rest of my team. I am only as strong as the rest of the office and I am only as strong as our legacy. So in the union, we're at a position where we can only have a limited amount of resources. We only have a limited amount of finances and staff support and so on. So there may be big dreams or big things that we've been working on that may not come to fruition now, but it will see, you, you will see change in the future. So thank you very much for listening to this report. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me and I'll do my best to answer them. Of course we wouldn't be able to achieve anything if it wasn't for your dedication, if it wasn't for your participation and if it wasn't your, for your belief in what we as a union can achieve for all of you as students.